the heat seeker bus tiny home school we build hello my name is Pierre and this is the heat seeker bus it's a 2006 Freightliner Thomas body school bus we're gonna install a chimney kit for the wood stove inside this bus this is the wood stove and it's gonna be vented through the ceiling here the chimney kit is from tinywoodstoves.com it came in this box here everything was nicely wrapped in bubble wrap these are all the parts that come in with the kit starting from the top you got your chimney cap everything is stainless steel and uh, the storm collar that goes over the boot here you have the roof penetration uh, piece this is the adapter for the bottom of the pipe here I believe and then you got your piece that goes outside the piece for inside this is a sheet metal to put on the ceiling so you have a nice finish and you have all your collars to make the seal on your pipe so one for each here now this is all nice but the kit comes with no instructions not even a piece of paper with a picture showing where the parts go uh, no link to nothing like no instructions at all So if you plan on doing this by yourself, you'll need to do some research where parts go. And obviously, I'm short on pipe. I have a very low ceiling of, of six feet. You'd think I'd have enough to do this job, but I don't think I will. Looks like they only give you enough to penetrate the ceiling and that's it. Here is the starter piece, and it's just adjustable. I decided to center the stove instead of having it on an angle. It looked awkward, and it would have come too far over in the corner here and close to the wall. So by having it centered it'll be easier to upgrade to a better stove and it's going to look more pleasant to the eye to have it centered that means i'll probably extend a metal flooring right through um, i can use the pan for now to catch any uh, hot coals coming out and by having it centered, I have better clearance all around the stove. I'll have at least 8 inches from the back and about 12 inches on each side. I know I'm going to get this stove really hot, so I'd rather do it this way. Now I can mark the center where the pipe is going to land on the ceiling. The heat shield is a 7 8 corrugated galvanized with a half inch aluminum spacer and 1 8 aluminum plate behind it. The stove is now centered and anchored to the floor. And by using a plumb bob, I am able to find the center of the pipe. So now I have my mark on the ceiling and I can draw my circle from there and cut my hole. The penetration collar measures about 7 inches plus the bolts so I went 8 inches 
and I'm going to cut a hole out here that size and we'll go from there again the kit come with no instructions it's a guessing game so we'll go from there I have a rotator tool it has a cutting drill bit on it I'm going to try and use that to cut the hole This is filter cloth holding the insulation up. Now I'm going to cut out the insulation. There is one and a half inches of insulation. Now I'm left with, and I got the ceiling from the bus, and then there's two more inches of insulation, and then there's the outside uh, sheet metal of the bus. Now I went through the second layer of the metal. This is the roof now. And I have my center hole marked. We finally got some sun. So I'm on top of the bus here. And here you see my pilot hole of the center of the pipe. I measured three and a half inches to there, giving me a seven inch hole. I don't know if it's gonna be big enough, but we'll go from there. So uh, I'm gonna cut out the hole. I'm gonna be using a jigsaw. And the hole is cut. And this piece is going to sit like that. And the boot is going to cover all this. This piece swivels. So it's, just, it's adjustable. And then you tighten the screws when it's straight. And once you have your chimney in here, this will hold the chimney in place. Now, right here in this row, you see where there's a line? My gasket is going to go here, so I'm not going to put nothing here. I'm just going to put one here and three on the, out on the outside. I have the stove pipe where I want it. I have a, a broom handle holding up the pipe inside. Like this, that's holding it up. 
it appears to be nice and straight. Now with uh, my telescopic pipe that's going to come here, this one, this will extend enough to add one piece of 24 inch pipe. So that's how much it has to drop inside to fit the pipe. It drops in about six and a half inches. So now I can go outside and tighten up the fasteners. Okay, now the pipe cannot sl slide up and down. What I can do now is tighten up these ones. Very tight. You can see here there's little tiny holes. So I'm guessing that's to put a little screw in for safety in case it gets loose. I have black stove pipe screws and I'm gonna put one in each hole so there will be eight screws holding the pipe. I have little black screws like that and I'm installing them in the holes. Now I can apply silicone on my line for the gasket to sit on and then I'll screw it down. I think I'm all done in here. This is tight, this is tight. Looks tight all around. It looks straight to me. Very generous with this. Hello. You got yep. <laughs> I found a broom <laughs> to hold it up. That's all right. I'm sorry, I had to stop for car from your family. I'm not spending money. That's okay. <laughs> I'm installing the gasket right now. Okay, I have my silicone bead all around and a little bit here. So when I put my sleeve on, it'll make a good seal there too. Oh, it's backwards. I had it backwards. Clean up that mess. So much for not making a mess. <laughs> There, the cap is on. 
I installed the storm collar and it's all sealed all around all done out here made a bit of a mess there now we're going to take this rock wool and I'm going to pack it in there really good it's fireproof rock wool okay I got the insulation up in there now I can add my sheet metal on the ceiling And the flashing is installed, looks great. So the stove now is ready to accept the black single pipe. I had to order it because the kit doesn't come with all the pipe. I also ordered a 4 inch damper. This stove is a homemade stove. It's not um, CSA approved or uh, wet certified, something like that. It's made with very thick metal, uh, at least a quarter inch. You can see how thick it is. So this should work pretty good. I think it's a nice size for this bus. It has a little plate on top here. It's very heavy and solid. So once my black pipe comes in, I'm going to resume the insulation. I ordered a 24 inch piece of 4 inch black pipe and a 4 inch damper. I received my stove pipe. And my damper, 4 inch damper. Tiny little thing. We're going to put this pipe together. You have to Align this. It's a bit tricky. Hmm. You'll hear it snapping like that. You gotta make it round again. Try to make it as round as possible. Now I'm going to get a drill bit that's just a little bit smaller than this. Okay. The crimp side goes down. I want the seam at the back of the stove. I'm going to have a pipe over here, about 18 inches or so. So I want my damper around here, higher up. So I'm going to mark one hole, this is approximately where I want it, there. So I have my mark, I'm going to drill a hole on my mark. because you want this to be snug. Just force your way through there. Okay. My hole is made. Now we're going to take this apart. It's spring loaded. You, you turn it. In the lock, it's in the lock position right now. You turn it and it'll release. 
turn it until it comes out. Find yourself a flexible tape like this, measuring tape. From the edge of the pipe to the hole is five and a half. Now I go on the other side. Make a line. I already made my line. Now I took the tape measure all around and it's 13 inches. It's half of that is six and a half. So from my hole here, I go around and measure six and a half, and that will give you your center. Now I take the drill and drill it out. Now we're going to punch my hole in. my damper and the rod and I'm lining everything up. There and through. Now I have to rotate until the whole rod goes through. You squeeze the pipe and then you can lock it in place. And there you go. And the pipe now is ready to install. We're in the bus now. I already installed the pipe. Here is a 24 inch piece. And below here is the adjustable telescopic pipe. I installed the clamp that was provided with the chimney kit and I have screws, three screws around here and at the top here I also have three screws. Stove is now ready to burn so let's light a fire. Make sure the damper is open. Close the door to create a draft. Earlier I tried to take the sticker off but it was not coming off well. So now that the, the glue is heated up, this is coming off really good. So there you go. Little trick. Fire is lit. There's a the finished product. This installation was a learning process for me. I have never done this before. 
The chimney kit did not come with instructions, so it was a guessing game. But I figured it out on, as I went. Anybody can do it, I guess. You just gotta put your mind to it. I hope this video will help you in your installation. Uh, this is by no means a professional uh, install, but uh, this might be uh, helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed my video. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think.